Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Thor Ace 30.3. This particular model has the Malibu Maple Cabinetry. Let's start off right here in the kitchen. So this is probably one of my favorite parts about this floor plan and the way it's set up is the fact that you have all of this countertop space right here. If you're one that really likes to cook and prepare food or you know have meals set up and entertain, this countertop space right here certainly allows you to do that. You'll also notice the large single bowl stainless steel sink here, really deep sink. So if you do have residential pots and pans, you can set them down in there and you know there's plenty of room for them. Plus with the high rise pull out faucet here, it makes those nice and easy to wash and rinse. Take a look at this. You're probably wondering what this is or maybe you already know. This is a TV. You'll see right over here you have this little control. Just touch a button and just like that folks, the TV lifts right up. So that way you have a straight shot right across from the sofa. You can watch TV. You know when you're done with it, you put it right down and then you have this beautiful window right here looking out to your campsite. So a couple different options there as far as what you want to do. Uh, but when this comes all the way up, you'll see you know, perfect for viewing TV there. And again, great for entertaining guests. Uh, moving away a little bit further up here. So I talked about the big sink. You have all that countertop space. They give you even more prep space right here because they have a recessed cooktop with the glass cover. You can just fold this up and back to get to your three burners. The glass is pretty cool because it also serves almost as like a double backsplash here. You will notice though behind it, they have this nice tile decorative backsplash here as well. If we take a look underneath, you have an oven here so you can do some baking. And then under that, they give you this additional deep drawer. And again, that one is probably big enough. You can put some pots and pans down in there. Talking about big storage though, take a look at this underneath the sink. This is another thing I love about this floor plan. Not only do you have one, but they give you two trash cans here. So you have plenty of room underneath. You can still put your cleaning chemicals and everything else in there. But I love all that storage they give you there. Over to the side of that, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers here. You can see that and they're getting increasingly deeper here. These bottom two are a little bit deeper than the top one, but plenty of room for your silverware, your bigger utensils like spatula spoons, you know, large serving spoons, things like that. Underneath here, you will notice you also have two LED lights, helps brighten the kitchen up, makes it nice and bright in here. If you need to plug anything in, there is an electrical outlet right over to the side. So if you do have a coffee maker or a blender or something you want to plug in, that would be the place to do it. Right up top here, you have your pantry with an adjustable shelf. But wait, you not only have one, you have two. So again, good storage all the way across the top. So great kitchen storage right there. Uh, microwave with storage up above that. You will also, you'll also notice your Blu-ray player is right here that is hooked up to your TV. So pop a movie in there, you're good to go. You can watch uh, you know, Frozen or whatever you want to watch if you have kids. I don't know, it's what popped into my head. My kids watch a lot of that. But uh, Blu-ray player, so whether it's DVD, Blu-ray, doesn't matter, it'll play both. Underneath the microwave is your hood. This does have both a light and fan built into that. Moving over a little bit further, right up above your refrigerator, good storage there. Underneath is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over for you. Another thing I like about it is the thermostat is right here on the outside so it is nice and easy to use. The cool thing about running off propane though folks is even though this does have a generator on it, you know some cities won't let you run a generator past certain time and so in those instances you can run that off propane which is pretty great. Right over here is the dinette. So I like what they've done here on the dinette as well. And that's that they, you'll see they wrapped the cushion all along the back here. So it was, I slide in here, you can tell there's definitely plenty of room here for four people. So you can comfortably sit and play a game together, eat a meal together. The other cool thing is let's say you want to watch TV. No problem. You can kick back just like this, put your feet up, you know, have your back up against this pad and you have a great view right here to the TV. You also have some cup holders here in the table, which are great for when you're going down the road, especially because as you see, you have two seatbelts there, so you can have two legal riders right over there. And if you need uh, additional sleeping space, this Dream Dinette does drop down into a bed. You simply flip this lever right here and push it down. There is a cushion that I have tucked away in the back wardrobe that goes on top, 
but that will create your additional sleeping space. You'll also notice you have an electrical outlet right down here, so if you have to plug in a laptop or tablet, maybe a cell phone, that gives you a place in which you can do it. Two large windows along the slide here. You'll see the window, I mean that window basically covers that entire space. Same thing here, lets a ton of natural light into this RV during the day, which is awesome. And then of course, LED lights here at night. Storage going all across the top. I'll open that up for you. You can see it is strut assisted for easy one hand operation. And then directly underneath, you have a couple LED lights, two speakers, and again, an additional electrical outlet. If we take a look here, this is your jackknife sofa. So this is you know, probably the best seat in the house for watching TV as it is a straight angle right across there to you. A couple seat belts here as well. So you, again, you can have two additional riders. More cup holders right back here. Uh, cool thing about a jackknife sofa, folks, take a look at all that storage you get underneath. Great extra storage underneath the jackknife. This does drop down into a bed. The other thing you'll notice is look right back here. You have a storage space for your ladder. That is for the bunk, the bunk up front, which I'll show you in a little bit. But that is a very convenient spot to put it. That way, again, it's tucked away and it has its own nice little home. As we take a look at the cab here in the front, both of the leather driver and passenger seats do swivel around so you can utilize all the space. You'll also notice the flange here in the floor. That is for an additional table you can set up here. That way you can have a snack here, play a card game here, really whatever you want to use it for. You'll also notice the shroud is not carpeted, it is fiberglass. The big advantage of that, folks, is it's way easier to clean. As you're getting in and out of the driver's seat, especially if it's muddy out, it's really easy to hit the, the corner of this, and if it's carpeted, it gets really dirty. You'll also see you have some cup holders there, as well as the center mat. Now, if you take a look at the screen right up here, uh, that does operate, your, or rather, when you back up, your backup camera will be there, your side cameras will be there. But one of my favorite parts, and you can see it right here, it says HDMI not connected is that this actually has an HDMI port on it. And so you can plug your cell phone into it. And if you use Google Maps like I do, it has screen mirroring. So whatever is on your screen will appear right there. So if you're looking at Google Maps on your phone, you now have Google Maps on your center dash, which is awesome because Google Maps is always connected to the internet and it can reroute you if there's an accident or if there's construction. And again, it is a free service to have. So I think that's pretty cool that they went ahead and included that. If we take a look over to the side here, if you take a look at the armrest, you'll see you have power mirrors there, heated mirrors as well, an additional cup holder, and your auto level is located there as well. And then if we take a look over at the passenger side, so this is a pretty neat feature, especially if you're one of the lucky ones that get to work on the road, or if you're just taking a long trip, Take a look at this. This part right here folds over, and now you have this nice workstation. You can put a laptop or tablet here, do what you need to do. You can plug it in right over here, and there's an additional 12 volt plug on this side here. The Ace 30.3 features a split bath. Now, I do have some people that don't really care for it, but the nice thing about the split bath is it gives you a lot of space. Plus, if one person wants to take a shower, another one can use the other side of the bathroom or if you just want to create one large bathroom, you can actually open this door up. You'll see it locks into place right there. And then you have a pocket door you can slide across right here, and that will give you the privacy you're looking for. Right here's your main control panel. You can see your generator is on there, your water heater. Of course, it does run off both propane as well as electric, your water pump, and then your tank monitoring panel there as well. Uh, thermostat is directly underneath. Now you will have two thermostats as this one does have two air conditioners. Right over here is the shower. I'll take a step in here just to give you an idea of height. Uh, I'm six foot. You can see I definitely have plenty of room. So even if you're six four, six five, you can still comfortably shower in here. Plus it's a big shower. Again, that's one of the nice things about having the split bath is it generally gives you a little more room for the shower. So you can easily maneuver here, do what you need to do. You also have the hand wand and then a couple of shelves there for your uh, soap and shampoo. As far as towels, you can see right here, you can hang your bath towel so it's nice and easy to grab. When we step into the other side, you do have a foot flush lever porcelain toilet. Porcelain bowls are a lot easier to clean here. Uh, you'll also notice I have plenty of room here and it sits up a lot higher. I personally like that because it makes it easier to get off the toilet. So if you have bad knees or you know if you're a little bit older and it's not as easy to get off the toilet as it used to be, uh, having the higher toilet makes it a little bit simpler. 
right over here to the side you see the sink top good sink top space or countertop space you have you know this right over here so if you have to set down like a hair dryer curling iron something like that you can electrical outlet there of course too uh, stainless steel bowl so nice upgraded bowl there if we take a look underneath you have some storage underneath the sink you also have a cubby hole over here to the side as well as an additional one down below and right in between is your toilet paper holder right here is your hand towel ring again that's already installed for you you have storage going all along the side which this can be pretty nice you know if you uh, want to maybe roll up some hand towels or something in there you can additional storage right across the top here mirror directly in front of me led lights and then you have your vent fan right over here you also have an ac duct so if you do need to keep it nice and cool you can and then you have a heat duct down below so that way if it's cold outside you'll still stay nice and warm in the bathroom before we enter the bedroom another quick thing i want to show you is this right here yeah, a lot of us have pets and we'd like to take our loved ones with us and this just makes it that much simpler you have a, a fda approved food dish here and water dish so that way your pets can come along with you and again you have a nice little spot in order uh, to where you can have their food and water bowl coming into the bedroom itself you have a nice big bedroom here in the 30.3 it's easy to walk around as you have a slide out queen size bed now this is not a foldable mattress this is actual a standard denver mattress so nice and comfortable you have rails on either side if you need to have a cup of water or something little cubby holes underneath there as well and on one side over here you also have uh, your multimedia center in case you want to play some music you will have electrical outlets right on the side here so if you need to plug anything in if you have a cpap machine you need to charge cell phones you can do it there there's a better spot for cell phones i'll show you in just a second uh, but again you do have those electrical outlets on the side if you take a look underneath the cabinets here a couple led reading lights as well as speakers again to listen to music right up top nice deep storage there it is strut assisted so uh, that way it's easy one hand operation which is great and they're deep drawers there too they're deep space so if you have you know some uh, larger items like if you have extra bedding or maybe sweatshirts things like that that is a great spot for them Window right here in the back lets in natural light, lets you see out back, especially if you have a nice view. Up top is that second AC, folks. So as I mentioned, it does have two. And this one has a quick, quick cool here as well. So you can open these up and it dumps everything right in this room, makes sure everything is nice and cool for you on that hot summer day. Right over here is the TV. So that way, if you want to watch uh, some TV in bed, you can absolutely do that. One of the things I like that they do, though, is take a look at this. You actually have storage behind it. Most manufacturers would just have this as wasted space, but they, they did a really good job in the ACE here to utilize everything. So strut supported, pop that up and you can store stuff behind there. Right underneath again, a couple LED lights, a window here. And I told you there's a better spot to charge your cell phones. Right here it is. You have that charging center with four USB ports plus an additional electrical outlet. So you can plug all sorts of electronics in right there and take a look at the size of this drawer underneath. You want to talk about a huge drawer for a lot of your folded clothes, folks, that is it. That is an awesome drawer right there. Moving over a little bit further, we get into our main wardrobe. So open this up for you. You can see the hanging rod going all the way across the top. Plenty of space to hang your clothes. A couple lights in here so you can see at night. This is that pad that goes on the dinette. I mentioned there was an extra one. I have it stored in here. You can put it wherever you want, but this is nice and convenient. And then right here is that table that goes up front. So again, uh, you know, that way if you want to sit up front and play cards, have a meal together, whatever, you can certainly do that. And then lastly, right underneath here, we have a couple large full extension drawers. For any clothes that don't fit in the one drawer, you have two more right here. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Thor Ace 30.3. So this one is built on the Ford F53 chassis. It houses the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10, putting out 320 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. And folks, on a Class A that's a little over 30 feet long, this thing has a lot of power. If you take a look up front, you see the cap that's on the front here, beautiful looking front cap. You have the header kind of going over top, almost giving it that sporty look, which I like. You have the wet windshield wipers, so that way as the windshield wipers are going across, that is uh, spraying the entire windshield, making sure that whole thing is wet there, getting it nice and clean for you. We take a look at the mirrors. You have bi-directional mirrors here, so you have a couple different 
uh, areas help cover your blind spots. Also right here in the corner are your side view cameras. So that way when you turn on that blinker, it gives you even more vision to make sure when you are switching lanes, you don't accidentally hit someone. Right down here, this is pretty neat. You know, they try to make this as pet friendly as possible. You saw the dog dish inside. This is actually a little, uh, you know, doggy window, basically a pet window. So that way, if you have a, a little furry friend that's coming with you, they can sit right down here and they're able to see outside as well. Large power awning on this RV, just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And then you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way it is nice and bright at night. Just flip of a switch. You see the window up top there above the door that lets in a lot of extra natural light. Same thing with the window right here on the door. Uh, the door itself, they have improved the door. If you've ever had any complaints with some of the other doors that Thor used to have, they changed it in 2018. It's a, just, it really works a lot better. It's easier to open and close. The screen door here as well, you can see, has this plastic shroud on there. You'll also notice that in order to open or close it, it has a handle on both the inside and outside. So that makes it really quite easy. You also have a power step there, so that way, uh, you know, when you're done, you know, you can either leave that out when you get to your campsite. Normally, of course, when you shut the door, it retracts in, or you can leave it in. So if you pull up to a curb or something, it doesn't come out and cause any damage. Another thing that's pretty neat right here, take a look at this. Talk about good utilization of space, right? Most manufacturers would have left that blank, but you know they gave that extra little hidden storage area. You also have this right over here. You can slide that open. There's a light in there, so you have a little bit of additional storage right there too, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, I just like that, that they give you that, that extra little storage there, where again, most manufacturers would not. Right here, you have two outside speakers, one here, one in the back. That way it covers pretty much this entire side of the RV in case you wanna sit out here and listen to some music. Right up top here, uh, frameless windows. As I've been pointing all these out, I do want to mention that all these are frameless, which not only look a lot nicer, but also because the way they open, they essentially pivot open at the top. It allows you to keep these open while it rains. That way it doesn't get all stuffy inside. You can still get nice airflow coming through. And the seals are tucked behind the glass here, so they're not getting beat up as badly by the elements. If you're going boondocking and you want to fill your fresh water tank, right there is the place to do it. And as we take a quick look underneath here, uh, take a look at this lock, right? Most manufacturers, when they have a toggle up top, they put like a 751 key here, which if you're not familiar with that, it's, it's an okay key, but it tends to be pretty tough, especially if it's cold out or over time, it gets a lot harder to use. But they went with like an M key, which is a much better key system. But right in here, you have your two batteries. So if you ever need to get in there, that is where they're located. And it does come with two batteries as a standard. Right next to that, we start to get into our first storage compartment. So rotocast bins and all the storage compartments, which are really nice because they don't rust out on you. You have a drain there. So that way, if you do have any water in there, it drains out or to clean it. Obviously we need to clean this one, but if you take like a power washer, you can kind of spray it in there and it just goes right uh, out the plug there, which is pretty cool. You also have LED lights in the compartments, so it makes them nice and bright. And you can see right here, if you see the cover on there, uh, a lot of, or pretty much all the tanks here, if you take these covers off, that's where your sensors will be. So if you ever have to change your sensors, it's a lot easier to do it on all of your tanks all the way around. We'll open up this guy right here and look at that outside TV. So if you want to watch TV outside, great. Put some chairs around right here. You know, you can have the awning out to provide even more shade, but this door right here does a pretty good job as well of giving you some shade on the TV there. Right down here, more storage. Once again, rotocast bins, you can see the drain there as well. LED light here, and if you look up top, this one's actually a pass-through, so uh, you know it has that little bit of space up top where if you have longer items like skis or something like that, you can sneak them in there. One of the other things that Thor does really nice on the Ace is the fact they color match all of the back of your appliances, whether it's your furnace, your fridge, whatever it may be, it's color matched. A lot of manufacturers just have like a big black or white cover here, but Thor does a great job of color matching and really makes it blend in for a very seamless look. Dual outside electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. And speaking of the outside, let's talk about the fiberglass itself, folks. This fiberglass is an HD Max fiberglass, has a beautiful shine and sheen to it. You can actually see your reflection in here, which is great. It kind of gives that, uh, that full paint look without having to pay that eight to $10,000 for full paint. Plus, it's a little bit easier to repair if it does get damaged. 
again, same thing here. You can see it's nice and flush. Even this, you know, sometimes it's the small things. You can see right here they put plastic on there because so that way when you turn this, you're not scratching the paint. You know, so little, little uh, attention to detail like that, it really goes a long way with me. Right down here, you'll open this up, and again, nice big compartment right there, LED light here over to the side. One of my favorite parts about this uh, particular floor plan, and something that's pretty unique, is it's not very often that you get an outside kitchen on a Class A. So, I myself, I love to be outside, I love to cook outside, and I love having a refrigerator outside. So this is perfect for me. So you have this fridge right here that we can put all your condiments in here, you know, if you have a couple beverages, whether it's pop, beer, whatever else you wanna put in there. You know, uh, water bottles on a hot day, it's cool to have it right out there. LED light up top, you see you have some storage in here for some cups and other things. You have your sink there, granted it's full of uh, antifreeze, but uh, you have the sink there as well. Electrical outlet right over here little drop down compartment. And then right here you have this nice pull out drawer. So I'd probably fill it with plastiware, but you know, if you like to, uh, you know, put regular silverware out here, you can certainly do that too. Take a look right down below. You also have a propane quick connect. So if you actually want to do some cooking, you can hook up a grill right there. That way it just feeds off the large propane tank on the coach itself. You don't have to buy the little small green Coleman bottles. Come around to the back rear mounted ladder. This way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. I do recommend getting on top of any RV, you know, probably once or twice a year just for basic inspection. But with the ladder back here, it, that way uh, it's nice because that way you don't have to bring one. You will see the covered painted bumper on here. So that way it's not gonna rust out and look all nasty after a couple of years. They also put grip tape right here because it can get pretty slick when it's wet. So that way if you have to climb up on the ladder, your first step is safe. Right down below, 8,000 pound hitch, folks. You won't see that on many RVs, especially gas models. Uh, the great thing about that is, again, this is a shorter Class A, and it has that V10 in there on the uh, F53 chassis. Folks, this has all the power you need to tow a boat. Uh, you know, if you want to tow another RV, a trailer behind it, you can certainly do it with the Ace. Right back here is your fuel fill. You know, it is shifted a little more to the off-door side, but the nice thing about rear fill is you can pull up to a gas station and be able to fill from either side. You know, the hose is long enough. Even if you pull up on the driver's side, you can still fill it up. And even though this is a pretty maneuverable Class A, it's smaller, that is still a great feature to have. Right over here, we have two slides. Take a look up at the top of the slide. You'll notice that this has a slide-out topper on it. The advantage of that is if you have any sticks or pine cones or anything that falls, when you push the slide in, they'll just fall right off. Without that, they'll sit up on top of that slide, and if you don't clear them off, when you go to put that slide in, it can jam in there between the slide and the seals. It can damage your seals, and that's when you start having uh, slide issues with leaks. So uh, the awning toppers definitely help eliminate a step when breaking down camp. Right down here, nice big storage area. I love this storage space, especially if you have larger items. Uh, you know, I have a, a young one. My daughter is now two and a half, but several times we've gone camping and you have big items when you're going with kids. You know, you have pack and plays, you have, uh, you know, like wagons, things like that. This gives you the space in which you can put those. So I really certainly do enjoy that. Uh, and then again, a light in there. And you'll also see we put the power cord in there. Obviously, you can store the power cord wherever you want, but that's just a nice big spot there, because, or not convenient spot, because it is such a big storage area. 50 amp detachable power cord here, in case you couldn't tell from the cord itself. And that's because this one does have dual ACs. You also have your cable inlet right next to that. And directly underneath right here is essentially uh, your convenience center. You have your termination here with both your black and gray there. You have your black tank flush. You'll also see the outside shower right next to that. Now, I personally like that because, you know, when you're done doing the dirty work, if you need to wash your hands, you have the outside shower right there. There is a light in here as well, so you can access it at night. And again, you can remove these panels to be able to get to uh, the sensors on that tank. If you have city water, you're going to put that guy in right there. And if you take a quick look underneath the slide here, we'll open this up. So good storage area right here. If you see that box, that is essentially the brain that controls the slides. Anywhere there's a slide, you will have one of those not too far away. And the cool thing about that is it makes troubleshooting really easy. It basically makes sure that you're not going to get stranded with a slide out. Uh, with those, you can actually unplug a couple of the connections. You can manually push the slides in. 
put those back on and lock it uh, back in place. Now with some of the bigger slides, you'll probably need a couple people because it still is pretty tough to push it in, but at least you're not gonna get stuck uh, out somewhere with the slide open. 5,500 watt generator on here, folks. That'll do everything you need to run everything inside. Uh, so that way, you know, if you don't have shore power, fire the generator up. You'll make sure you're nice and cool even on the hot days. Propane right here, nice and easy to fill, good easy access, especially because when you're filling it, the slide will be in. And then lastly, right over here is your hydraulic pump. Again, you wanna talk about troubleshooting, you'll notice how all of your lines are color coordinated. And if you ever do need to manually lift the jacks, you can pop this cap off. There's an Allen head in there, and that way you can actually manually lift those jacks back up. So again, you're not stranded. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Thor Ace 30.3. If you're interested in this Class A and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.